The eating game is a common game logic where items fall down and the user has to move their head left and right across the screen, opening their mouth to catch the fallen items. The user has a set amount of time, in this case 30 seconds, to catch all fallen items. Each time the user catches an item, the score goes up by one point. At the end, you have confetti and the final score is shown to the user. Before you make changes to this template, it's best practice to save this project as a new project and work on that project so that you have a saved original copy of the template. To do that, I'll go to File, Save As, and give it a brand new name, and then you can start working on that project. This just makes sure that you have an original copy of the template just in case you make an error while you're making changes to this template. This template makes it very easy for you to customize the eating game. You can change the fallen elements. You can change the color of the timer and score text. You can even change the cover image. We'll go through some of these right now. Firstly, just to walk you through Effect House if you're not too familiar with it. On the top left is the hierarchy section. Below that is the asset section where you have all your textures, your materials for your game. In the middle, right at the top here is where you can see the placement. You can visually see the placement of your assets either in a 3D space or a 2D space. Below that is the visual script graph. Here you make connections to form the logic to your game. Right next to it in this column is the preview window where you can visually see how your game is operating. On the right hand side of that is your inspector panel. Your inspector panel gives you information regarding your textures, for example, the resolution, size, type, compression and a preview of what your texture looks like as well as other things where you can also change the rotation placement and scale of objects in the hierarchy right i'm going to open up the visual script graph by undocking it here i'm going to center it by clicking this zoom button here and you get the general layout of the logic that makes the game work you wouldn't need to change anything on this graph. However, the options in blue give you the ability to change certain aspects of the game easily and to customize it to your own design. For example, in this section here, where you can easily change the score and timer text color. You can change the fallen items so that is that you can change the images of the fallen items, the five altogether. You can change the score visual graphic, which shows a plus one every time you get a score. You can change the cover image. You can change the end score text color and the end screen image background, which I'll show you all these in a moment. So in general, every section with a blue comment box are aspects where you can easily change and customize various elements within the template. What we are going to do is change the cover image, which is this short instruction that shows the user how to operate the game. We're going to change the color of the timer text and the score text. We're also going to change the fallen items, at the moment we have fruit falling, we're going to make them sweets. And we're also going to change the end screen image, background and the text color. Okay, to start and make everything run smooth, I'm going to just pause the preview window. And the first thing we want to change is the cover image. 
Over on the left hand side, we have the assets panel. We have textures here. I'm just going to drop down that arrow. All you have to do is go to your folder that has the asset you want to change and drag it into the assets section. I like to keep all my graphics in squares. This way, changing the elements doesn't really take that long. So I'm going to drag in the cover image. This is the cover image. I'm going to drag it to the texture section. And the name of that asset was record to start small. I've clicked it over on the right hand side inspector panel. I'm just going to select the compression type none because I have already compressed all these assets. To change this cover image, we scroll in to the visual script here. And we go right to the bottom, we see cover image. All we have to do is click on source, scroll down to our cover image, new one, records to start and double click. This will add the asset to the visual script. We click play just to show it's been changed. And you can see it's been changed to records to start, which has a nice animation. The next five things to change are the fall-in items. I'm going to go back into my folder that has all my assets and drag these new files over. Again, I've kept everything in a square format, usually 256 by 256 pixels. Or 512 by 512 pixels it just makes it easier to design and make changes in the visual script now I'm going to select the first five suites and drag them into the texture section make sure you name all your new assets just to help organization and speed up your process I've named them suites from one to five and that way I can easily see them. Back to our visual script, this blue section here, we have fallen images. All we have to do now is just go to each of these boxes where it says source and swap out the old for the new. So suite zero, number one, we go to the next one and swap out Mango for Suite 2. Double click. Move over to the third one. Suite 3. Double click. Number 4. Double click. And the last one. Number 5. Double click. Now we've added the new elements into the texture folder and we have swapped them out in the visual script very easily. So I'm going to press play just to show these changes. I'm going to click record now and as you can see the items falling down are all sweet, are all the new assets we've added. Now that we have changed the record to start and we've changed the fallen items. Best practice is to delete the old textures. So I'm just going to go over to the texture section and look for the old assets. So lemon, mango, I'm just holding control on the keyboard or command if you are on a Mac to, to select multiple assets. So orange, strawberry, that's four, and grape right click and delete that way we can save space on our template so to check the amount of space you have left or that you have used it's in this section here just click on this arrow to refresh and at the moment we have 2.6 megabytes used out of five megabytes so our limit is five megabytes on this template on every template at the moment 
OK. I'm just going to go back to the texture section, click on Suites 1 to 5, and change the compression type to None. OK. Now the next thing to do is to change the color of the timer and score text. Again, very simple. We just go right up here to score and timer text color and we just change this from blue. The default color is here just in case you want to change it back. But we want to make it match this red from the records to start. So I'm going to click on this and move over to red and choose maybe this this color. I'm just going to copy this color code, the hex number. I'm just going to copy that so that we can just copy and paste it into our next box here. So our new box, I'm just going to click on that, select this and paste enter and click on this X here to close that window okay so we've changed the color of the score and timer text and just to show that this is this has been changed we're just going to press play in the preview window and automatically we can see that the timer text and the score text colors have changed to red. Again, you can always make them different colors if you want to. You can make this one white and this one black or this one red, this one blue. It's totally up to you. Right. Lastly, to change the end screen image and the end score text color. So this is the end screen image and this is the text showing your score to change the text color we just click on this end score color and we select i'm just going to select a red or paste that red value in close this and i'm going to import the image that we want to use for the end screen okay so we have imported the end screen image which is this one here I'm just going to go to the end screen image background, click on that tab, scroll down till we see end screen image, double click and it should appear. I'm actually going to change the end score text color back to white because the background is already red, so we don't want to make that clash. I'm just going to make that white, so back to white. So that should be it. So most of the game should be customized already in terms of the assets. So now we can clean up our assets in the texture folder. And um, I'm just going to go to the cover image here, delete that. This is the old end screen. I'm just going to delete this and save those changes. So make sure you save your project as you go along. Right now, since all that is done, there's one other thing that we need to change. So this graphic, I'm just going to show you every time you catch a falling item in your mouth, you see a plus one jump on. If we move up to this section here, we can change the timer start value, at the moment it's 30 seconds, but I want to change that to 10 seconds so that the game only lasts for 10 seconds. And I want to, as you can see, it's changed to 10. And I want to change the score increment value. Instead of it going up by one, I want it to increase by five every time you catch an item. So the first item we catch will be five points, the next will be 10 points, etc. I'm just going to change this to five. That means 
that plus one I showed you earlier, we just scroll down to this section here. And I'm just going to import my plus five. This is my plus five. Drag it into the texture folder. So it's score count plus five. Change the compression to none. And I'm going to go to the score plus one graphic section. Click on the source and select plus five. And then good practice, go back to the texture section, right click on the old texture and click delete. We have the timer set to 10 seconds. We have a new cover image. We've changed all the fallen items and we've changed the end screen as well. Let's test it out. Click record to start the game. And you can see every time you catch a new item, plus five pops up. And the score increases by five. Okay, after 10 seconds, the game has ended. We have a score of 10, and we can see all our assets have been changed. I'm just going to restart this again. Just to show some elements on this side, you don't have to change these elements. They can always just stay the same. But the rotation, we can enable or disable it. At the moment, we have disabled rotation. So let's enable rotation and see what that looks like. Click on the record button to start and we can see each item is actually rotating as it falls down. So we can see each item is rotating as it falls down. An item you could change if you feel like the fallen items are still a little bit too small for your liking or your client wants bigger images, you can change the scale of the fallen items. So I'm just going to make this 0.6, 1.6, and we'll test this again. And you should see that the items are so much bigger, but still responsive when the user opens their mouth to catch the items. As you can see, it's very easy to make changes to the entire template within a few minutes. Once you have your assets designed, it's easy to just drag and drop them into the texture folder, customize it, delete the old images, change the colors if you need to of the text, and you have a brand new effect. Let me know if you have any questions. You can find a template again at Projo gumroad.com and you can find many more templates there for meta spark and effect house thanks for watching any questions please drop me an email or drop them in the comments below thanks again